What's the good, young fella? How you feeling? I'm straight. I got a bomber coming. Just give me a second. Okay. okay. Good. Hey. Nanny, nanny, nanny got it. Okay. Go get it. <laughs> okay. We'll sit right here then. Watch your foot now. All right. You got to be quiet though, okay? All right. All right. Yes, man. Fatherhood come first, man. I appreciate you, brother, for real, man. You know what I mean? My guy, I got to be honest, bro. Listen, I said before the battle, I'm only here for Clutch and JC. I mean, Chilla, that was my tweet and everything like that, right? How do you feel about the battle overall? I feel like it went exactly, hey, I feel like it went exactly how um I expected it to go as far as, like, um down to the content down to down to even what rounds you know i felt like i would i was gonna take down to you know everything it was about as i predicted it would go in my head going in and um i think that he you know show why he's a vet why he's a legend i think i show why i'm here to stay and that's all you can hope for in these types of battles so not to dig in your brain a little bit though clutch but what did you predict though I said it. Um, oh, sorry. You got you got a layer. Yeah, you can have. It. You got a layer. Um, I mean, you got You got to pay. You got. You know, the battle ain't dropped yet. So you know, but when you dig into the layers in my first round, uh, I feel like I picked everything. Mm. First round. The, okay. The thing about the first, right? Um, All right. Conceptually, I'm gonna break it down with Danny at some point. I'm sure, but conceptually, right? It was the you know that was the am I getting warm around everything like that. That round was it works hand in hand with my third for JC to um, counter and foreshadow Chilla's third, and that was the point. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it was one of those where I knew where he, I knew he was going to head in that direction at some point in this battle. I didn't know when, but I knew he was really. You, so you knew that already? Yeah, I knew he would talk about. Wow. It. Yeah, I knew I knew he would I knew he would talk about my third round. Yes. That's why I planted seeds uh like in the first. Uh you consistently sacrifice the truth and your pride in exchange for your fit hidden, and I can't get with it because it's battle rap is not an excuse to be a bitch nigga. It works hand in hand with my third for JC to work as a foreshadow and counter writing for his third. I didn't know he would do it in the third, I just assumed that he would do it. Wow. Do you feel like people are going to attack you moving forward because you're third round with JC? That's a new thing now. Now we're going to come at Clutch. Yeah. Um, third round. And, is that, and, is, and is that fair? Two part question, Clutch. Is that fair? Okay. So here's the thing um, all's fair in love and war. All right. So first and foremost, do you. Yeah, go back there. Hey, yes. Um, so whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, you know what I mean? I think people misconstrue. When I say it's battle rap, it's not an excuse to be a bitch nigga. That doesn't mean that I hate disrespectful bars. That doesn't mean that I don't think you should disrespect people in battles. It doesn't mean that even like when I say that I didn't like rock seatbelt line or, or when I say that it it, it 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 bothered me. You know what I mean? When I say stuff like that, I feel like I guess I didn't articulate it well enough. I wasn't saying it because since those bars are about cars... That's why I throw you know, no, it was a it was a microcosm of the big bigger issue, meaning that it's something that I can say. Everything makes me think of it, you know? And so that's the whole point. Like I can't stop thinking about it no matter what I do. And so if that's what people want to use to combat me, you you'll need it. I would just tread lightly. Mm. I, I felt that, brother. I felt like that, I felt that right here, young brother. I felt like that, man. I feel like Chilla needed it. Every bit of it. Wow. Um, Go over there. I'll be right back. Yeah. What's your take on Chilla getting chastised for the third round, though? Some people are not liking that too much, Clutch. Aiden, go over there. With, with <laughs> the Thank you. Son. Young fatherhood, man. I respect 25 year old father, man. I respect it, man. Yeah. Um, Tilla, I feel like that's just part of it, you know. Um, you know, how he had, he, to, to crunch, he had to defend himself. It looked like what well, the tweets I'm seeing, 
he had to defend himself because people are saying they not get some people not giving him third round because they feel it's a little bit distasteful. If I can use that word, all I'm gonna say is you consistently sacrifice the truth and your pride in exchange for your shit hitting and, and get with it because it's battle rap is not used to be a bitch nigga. Yeah. I can I can't like I can't like I plant certain seeds. You you wonder you know I saw him post a tweet like. You know, how come Jace, um, Sir can talk about JC's mother and y'all don't care, but when I do it, da, 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 da. and part of it is, you know, intentions. Part of it is not going back on you, you know, not, not caring. Surf unapologetically did it. You know, he didn't care whether you thought it was disrespectful or not. That was his intentions. You know what I mean? So, like, it's whatever, whatever. But also, another part of it is the seeds you plant. The see, I planted certain seeds that whether the crowd understands that they, agree with it or not subconsciously you know how many times say in response chilla has responded to somebody's tweet today and he said to respond to them it's battle rap he didn't know that he, he didn't even realize that he was playing into my angle but my first round in conjunction with my third for jc those two rounds together are going to live on forever and though the the, the ideologies behind those rounds are going to do nothing but grow more and more impact as we move further because every time someone says it's battle rap as an excuse mm -hmm. what I'm thinking about what well, that's not an excuse to be a bitch nigga wow so is it me or you like your first round is that your favorite round because my favorite round from you is the second round um i like i feel like from a writer's perspective the first is my favorite the first was like you know that's the round that I pinned. That's the round that I really probably like. If you wanted my honest opinion, I think that's probably the most well written round in battle rap this year. I, I wow, I, clutch, really. I like this you, confidence. You really feel that way, young brother? When you break that round down, it needs to drop. When you break that round down, every movement I made, everything that I did conceptually from start to finish, there's it's like six, seven layers to this to that first. Yeah, and like I said, it did foreshadowing for not only this battle but later battles. It you know it broke down him as a battle rapper. It broke down his past to tell his future, everything, and it and it was layered and like even down to my mannerisms when I decided to take my jacket off, when I decided to put it on, how how where I stood on the stage, where you know my demeanor, all of that play a part into that round. So yeah, I do believe it's the most well round conceptually this year. But <laughs> you're the better rapper. I'm the old head I'm the old head blogger. Can I give you pushback on that? You can. Let me ask you a question. Cause to, all right, so my cousin, right, he he has you winning the battle, right? I have to tell the respect to one. He had, that's the argument we have it. Now here's the thing. Right. He's telling me, even though the first round, when you take your jacket off a little bit, he's saying that's club and creative, and you're thinking out the box because you're battling Chilla Jones is the reason why he got he got you in the first round. And on top of that, when you started rapping and stuff, and that and the fact that you know you were cold and you were heating up with your bars and stuff, you take the jacket off, and it's like it made sense. You say what to that? Is he wrong? Is he off? Or what? He's absolutely correct. <laughs> um, but that. But but that's only it's only half of just because I know how much you fuck with this shit. I kind of break a little bit more of it down. So that's half of it, right? You All see? right. I'll, I'll give you the the the, the basis of it. Okay. It's like it's like a six layer. It's a, it's like a six layer concept. Layer one was I was physically cold. That's why I put a jacket on. I was physically cold. Layer two and and oh, I'm physically cold. As the round went on, I got warmer. That's why I took the jacket off. Cause I eventually got warmer. I didn't need the jacket no more. Mm -hmm. I warmer layer two. my angle. I told the crowd, let's play hide and cold. Y'all tell me when I get warmer, I got closer to the point that I was wanting to make. So I got warmer as the round went on. That's layer two, layer three. I literally, um, layer three, um, my demeanor. I started off with a lot more chill of a demeanor. I even sat down on the stage that chill of a demeanor a cool demeanor I ended very hot i ended very heated yelling in his face it's layer three layer four 
I stood, I started on the left side of the stage and I walked closer and closer to Chilla as the round went on. Because I said, the closer I am to Chilla, I'm bipolar, the closer I am to Chilla, the hotter that I get. I got warmer by walking closer to him. That's layer four. Layer five, layer five is that it's literally a warm up round. That's why I ended it by saying, now let's rap. It's a warm up round. Layer six, and this is the final layer, layer six, my concepts. If you can remember, early in the round, I had a bar about the winter. I had mm-hmm. a bar about Frozone. Air conditioning. Sir, I went from there to talking about air conditioning. I went from there to talk about fans climate. Fans in event, fans in event. I like that shit. Okay, yes. I went from there to talking about climate change and global warming. And I went from there talking about 100 degrees, fuel, fire, flames. My concepts got warmer as the round went on. Six layers, everything gets warmer. It's the ultimate warm up round. So yo, that- you a different <laughs> yo, cut. What? I've been covering battle rap for years. Wow, your brain. Wow, dog. Man. I appreciate you breaking that down for me. For and for the for the viewers also when I drop this on YouTube. Wow. And That's- let's be real, it's an effective angle. I, none of that. Even fact, I didn't even none of that even factors in the actual shit that I broke down about Chilla's past and predicting his future and all of that. That doesn't even get into that. That's just the base level layers of what I was doing, the cold and warm shit. Wow. And I still made it digestible. Niggas were, I would I wasn't losing motherfuckers. Niggas like niggas could understand the punchlines. Been on the watch like an omnitrix. You could understand what I was saying. So yeah, but you would admit though you spent a lot of over the head bars, clutch. You're not catching everything. You and Chilla, we're not you Chilla, JC, Kid Chaos, and these cats. We're not gonna lux in them. We're not gonna catch everything you guys say on first. A lot of battle rappers, to be honest with you, but no. most of y'all, we're not gonna catch every. Because when I spin the block the second time, because I watch it twice now, I'm like, wow, I missed that. I missed that, and I know if I watch it again, I missed that. I missed that. You know what I'm saying? Wow, clutch man. Yeah. Wow. That's that. That's I think. What I like to do is I like to make it fun. I like to make it like a, 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 a like a, a find it like a Where's Waldo. I don't go over your head. Um, like if I went over your head, it was extremely intentional. I don't. I don't. I don't like. Oh, they should catch this, but then y'all don't. No. And I don't completely dumb shit down. I just know what the fuck I'm doing. Wow. What's your thoughts on Chillis first round? Even though he went first, he set it off, but um I don't really so blur? <laughs> yeah, I don't really yeah, I don't really remember. I, I I'm gonna be honest. Um Hi, just, your name is Cortez, respectfully. Do you like the core 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 hated, <laughs> hated that. Um I hated that one. But um You hated it? Come on, cuz why did you <laughs> hate that? But not like um I feel like third other than the third round. Other than his third, his third was master. I feel like, other than his third, he was not better than JC was. Really, Clutch, I don't need to cut your wisdom off, but I remember speaking. I listened to you. I remember speaking to you before the battle, and I, I thought, from what you how you came off to me, Clutch, I thought you were worried more about Chilla than JC. Go yes, ahead. Chilla could, because Chilla, I like I said, I predicted his third and what the impact would do. So his third was impactful enough. Like you got to realize what type of legend you're dealing with. This is, okay. this is, you know, this is like Chilla was. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, man. In the building, I was in the building. I'm not a dummy. I know vibes. At the end of that second round, I was up to up. I'm looking around like I'm. This this is too. He he had to fight out of that. Now, obviously, he's going to feel different. People in his corner are going to feel different. And here's the thing. He's such a legend and that he knew that he knew how to master a third round good enough that now we're going back to talk about the first and second. Actually, you know what? Chilla, Chilla won that battle. People are going to say Chilla won that battle because of how masterful that third is. That's what legends do. Yeah, you got a point. Good point. Yeah, they're going to go by the third. Legends I go do. round by round, but you're, you're right, yeah, though. You're right. That's what legends do, but I guarantee you, had he just wrapped in that third, it would have been a. I would have looked back on these last two battles. The narrative would be Clutch just battled JC and Chilla and didn't lose a round, arguably. 
that would have been the uh, that would have been the discussion. But Clutch, I know you say you like your first round, and I like how you break down all the layers to me. There's six layers on your first round. But if I go to your first round, man, your your dry sense of humor, even when you went into the writer's block, and then you're like, I don't go through that shit. <laughs> that shit, yeah. that shit hits though. That shit lands, bro. Yeah, that's how I started. Yeah. Second, um, yeah, it's like um. It's it's honestly it's something that I feel like a lot of people lack. It's me, unapologetically me, and that's why I can pull it off. Whereas a lot of guys can't is because that's just who I am. That's just genuinely like that dry sense of humor, that narcissist. Yes, yes. <laughs> shit, that's just me, and it works, and the crowd is receptive to my personality. You, you have a lot of personality on stage. And it's funny because, you know, you're in a small room and shit, but your personality, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it comes out, though. The Aaron Hernandez, sick on the low, had a low, low hanging fruit line. That yeah. was hard. Oh, man, it's the contract for all these big design Williamson line. Like, the party days over, I'll try to fuck or chill bitches. Like, you would, I love your second Uno scheme also. The, the bean tacos, Kobe, used to own y'all niggas. I thought they stuck on that ball a little bit, though, but I felt that, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I was prepping, right? So I was prepping for, like, a room with, like, 300 people. Because originally, that's what Pete told me. So, like, that's why my second was structured. Like, my second was structured for, like, a bigger a bigger save. And, like like I said, bars like that Kobe bar. Bars like... Submarine, my, current events, current events, submarine. Yeah. Uh, and, there, and, there, and, there's, and there's other layers to like why I chose the subject matter I chose in those rounds too that I'll get into and you know probably when I break it down with Dave. everything that I did was extremely intentional and for a reason but yeah I think second round by the time I got to the chill bitches in the second round he was like under I, I just I, he at that point it was like alright you need this third round or you're like you're not winning this battle mm. And that's Dancing around the stage just to prove my spot. There's little one liners you be having that yeah. I be rocking with, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Put half the niggas you put on them gnome ass just move a lot. Wow. So your third round. Talk to me. My third, it was one of those like I knew um I front half. I I, I knew after he finished his third, my front half was going to get slept on slightly because of the impact of this third. So the John 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 Morant line, I love that line too. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. So I ended a lot stronger and a lot more aggressive. Yes, you did. I, I figured I'd lean into the cause I like a lot of those bars early I was gonna deliver with a little bit more aggression. But mm -hmm. because I knew that I had an uphill fight going into that after his third round, I kind of adjusted on the fly and I delivered with a little bit more witty sarcasm early, and then I let my aggression build up from there. That way, that way, when I got to certain lines, they would still hit, and the lines that did hit early, it didn't feel like a drop spot. And you know, it's funny though when you did the the Milwaukee Bucks scheme, yeah. and they did thirty four. Everybody's thinking to say Giannis thing, and you said Ray Allen, and I just did power forward, catch you off guard. It's you, a sneaky ass motherfucker. Yeah, then know? like you yeah. a sneaky boy. Jesus, to be honest, like, like, yeah, like, I, I, I get everything out of every concept. It, it all just lines up. Like that was one of those where I'm telling y'all how predictable he is. So I'm gonna give you a scheme that he would probably end with Giannis, but I'm yeah. gonna Ray Allen and then make two more punches off of that. Is he dead kick foot line? That shit was hard too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a dope battle. I got chill to an edge. But other people, I see people give you the battle. I'm seeing Chiller get. No, wait a minute. I gotta say this though, because I rock with you. You're my favorite dude, respectfully out of the top six. I, I, I got you over a few cats. I won't say your brother's names, but I got you over a few cats who people deem number one in the top six, right? But Chiller said you are top ten with the pain. Isn't that too early, sir? Tell uh, conversations. Come on, I, I, and you know I haven't. I don't have the body of work to back up with you know a lot of my um peers and predecessors right so that in that respect absolutely it's too early i only have a few battles um, on url uh talent wise skill wise and like potential wise where i where i'm headed mm -hmm. 
I think I'm a top ten writer in battle rap. Huh? I won't keep it too long. I got you. Okay. I know you got daddy duties. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Close the door. I won't keep you long, Clutch. I know you got daddy duties. Yeah. I'm a top ten writer in battle rap. A similar way that, like, you know, a guy can come in the like, like I feel like LeBron was a top ten player in the league. You know, early in, he just needed to, you know, prove. Everybody knew what was up. He just had to, you know, it, he just had to prove it. It's like, you know, you 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 can you can deem me a top 10 writer right now because as long as I continue on my trajectory, I will be. But I do also I can also agree that um, body of work, I, I got I got work to do. But I, what I can say, all I'm going to say, mm-hmm. arguably be J.C. and Chiller. I don't know another pen that can say that. It is a lot. There's a lot of pins, straight right in this shit. Right, name me one that has a legitimate argument to say. My fault. I, I'm good. good. I got. Good. I got. I got a phone call. Okay, a legitimate call argument. To say a. I beat JC and Chilla. Okay. But I remember that. speaking to you last time. You told me that, and you were telling me that don't expect you to battle as frequently like other battle rappers. We're not going to be seeing you four or five times a year, twice or three times. I paraphrase, I think you told me two or three times a year, right? Um, I think I, well, I think four and five may be the more comfortable spot. You're just not going to see me every other month. That's just not, that's okay. just, that's just not my vibe. Like, um, I don't know what URL has planned. Obviously, they have Summer Madness coming up. I'm not. I don't want to burn you to the ground, sir. I, URL, do not burn my young boy to the ground, yeah. please. Like obviously, yeah, I'm not ready for a Summer Madness, so I'm not gonna be on the Summer Madness card. Obviously, but mm-hmm. I don't know what else they have planned. But like, I'm not. You, I'm. You don't have to expect to see me in August. Maybe like later September. I could okay. I could see like that. Maybe early October. You with Kid Chaos? Kid Chaos should be next. So let's keep it real, Clutch. Let's keep I'm, it a honey. I'm, I'm I'm solid. Look, I'm all set on the pins. Like I'm good on the pins. I think that for now, I need to venture into some other styles. Branch out, branch out. <laughs> I, I really feel like I've proven what I've needed to prove from the pins perspective. If I can stand in there and arguably be Stacy and Chilla back to back, you shouldn't have to question anything about me with the penmanship. Penmanship should not be a question for you after what I've done so far. You really feel you be chilling, huh, don't you? I'll beat them both. I'll beat them both. I'll, I'll, if you want my genuine opinion, just like straight outside looking in, but you yes, got to realize, realize I wrote my own shit, so I call, I catch everything. Yeah, no, yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Yes. I, I caught everything. Um, Only out of those six rounds, I'd, I'd call it five and one. I really think that Chilla was creative with his third. Hmm. I think I, I think I was up 5-0 on Chilla and JC until he wrapped that third. This young man's confidence. You got to love this young man's confidence. 25-year-old. You got to love this young brother's confidence, man. I yeah. rock with it, man. I rock with it. I rock with it. Now, you know what we're going to say? You did, so you feel you 30, JC? I feel like a 30, JC, and I think I could. Ooh, clutch. And I think I, I think I was up on Chilla 2-1 smooth going into that third. So, yeah. But, like I said, I can't stress this enough. I mm. wrote, so I caught everything. Mm. Mm. I, I saw a tweet saying that that once you and you let me know how you feel about this, that once you learn to condense your material, you'll be one of the best guys. Somebody said. Um, I think it's far more than that. I do. I I like that analysis. I think um, I think condensing my material is a thing. I think another thing that people should um should take into account is that I'm a strategist. And the only people that I've battled since I go around is pins. So think about like, do you think that I was rapping more drawn out because I'm a drawn out battle, or because I was fighting fire? Can can both can both be right? Hmm. Can both of the um, statements you said can they both be right though? Yeah, absolutely. I think that I think they can both be correct, but like I said, I because I one hundred percent need to improve on my condensing. I don't think just condensing is going to make me unstoppable. I think I have way more than that to work on. Mm. But when you just look into like condensing, if you want to just break it down to that, yes. But also, 
I could be way more quicker to the punch if I felt like it was necessary and that is what would have beaten Chilla and JC. I knew Chilla would focus on how quickly he can get to the punch. I knew he would focus. That's why I didn't worry. I just had a higher hit rate. I took my time and I, 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 I was very strategic with it. Let me guess, you want to battle one of these fake ass gangster niggas and set them straight, right? <laughs> uh, I, I, it's not my place to. It's not my place to, uh, to somebody's a fake gangster or not. Right, 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 right. I honestly, I think, um, I, yeah, I just told um, DNA. I would, um, I gave DNA Jack. I'd like to battle Jack. I liked. I wouldn't mind battling T Top. Mm. Uh, the gangster guys, you know, I stand corrected. Yeah. T Top, I, I, Jack Boy. Call somebody a fake gangster type. No, 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 but also, <laughs> young fella, you know what he does to niggas like you, the Mr. Wavy of the world. I, you know what's crazy is that I was told that Chilla smokes new guys and we don't see him for a while. That's what I was told. Saga, I, yes, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told that that happened. <laughs> and I don't believe that I, I, I think I'm still here. So I, you know, <laughs> that's you know sometimes certain things just don't apply to certain people, but. <laughs> uh, I also issued a challenge for volume, a volume challenge to everybody else in the top six. Yeah, see, so you, you, you're willing to battle some of your brothers then, right? More than willing. Like I said, I'm issuing a challenge. If anybody feels like they want to see me in volume and like they want to test they might against what I can do in a condensed setting with just rappers, Flair, Foots, Hansel, Ease, all, who, whichever one want to step up. And whichever one want to step up, and you are, and if you are real is willing to book it for volume, then I can see Hansel. I, can, I hear Hansel. I don't know why I hear Hansel yelling right now. <laughs> I'm listening to what you just said. I hear Hansel in the background. And, and, I'm part of it. and it's just like that's like you know the Crucible. Shout out to the you know, shout out to uh, Miles and Eunice, Dice, Wu Sai, Bandit, Montana, Capo. That's the new top six that's coming in from the Crucible. That we have a new top six. So like. We're not the freshmen. We're not the rookies no more. Um, so, like, we ain't got it. Like, we're still one band, one sound type of thing. Still, like, you know, support one another. But today, mm -hmm. we pretty new. All right, bro, when this new class comes in, it's time to, like, go our own path. That being said, like, yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm like, now, whichever one of them will smoke for volume, I, they just better. Wow. Right. Okay. I like that. I like that. Cause that, that's a lot of conversation in the culture. Like you guys are getting all these other guys. When are you gonna battle each other? Even though you have an easy answer battle before. But okay. Um, last question before I wrap it up here. Hitman Hollow or Ill Will, talk to me. What are we doing, Clutch? Um, I think Ill Will is the most dangerous battle rapper in the world. Dang. Mm. Like when you get into like who's the best and start breaking out everything else, that's different. When I, but I think ill will is the most dangerous in the world. So. self explained I, I guess I know where you're going with that, young fella. You feel me? All right. Clutch, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. My guy. Have a good one. You too.